In the level three, we have to think of the three types of aromas. We've got primary, secondary, and tertiary. Primary is going to be anything from the, you know, from the fruit itself, from the grape itself, through alcoholic fermentation. Secondary is what you're going to do after alcoholic fermentation. So whether you, you know, put the wine through malolactic fermentation, you know, whether there's lees stirring, whether you put the wine in oak. In a red wine, the oak impact is going to be the most detectable, really because of everything else, tannins and everything else going on in a red wine, it's harder to decipher things from lees aging, and most red wines go through malolactic fermentation anyway. Uh, and now tertiary, our last type, are aromas that develop with maturity, with age. Now we have a ground reserva Rioja has to age. So with that, we can pretty much say, okay, there's going to be tertiary in this wine. But to get familiar with what is a tertiary, the WSET makes it pretty easy for you. On the back of your SAT card, they divide things up into primary, secondary, and tertiary. Get comfortable with those terms. When it comes to the exam time, the exam, the grader, gets a copy that they just circle things. You have to write them. But the exam grader goes ahead and circles them. And so they're going to be using what's on the back of that SAT card. Now, of course, the WSET makes it a little simpler. They say, hey, it's okay, grader. Go ahead. You can go look at the tasting note, you know, that the producer wrote on that wine and add in other terms. But just know you want to choose as much as you can those terms on the back of your SAT card. So when you go ahead with a Grand Reserve Rioja, uh, you know, it depends on, on how old it is. Can you still detect primary? When I go ahead and smell my wine, swirl and smell, I get great red cherry, red raspberry, blackberry. I get cur red currant, black currant. I get so many different fruits, but I also get a little violet. Um, I get a little herbal. I get eucalyptus. There's so much going on in this wine. And all of those things are primary. So for secondary, then you want to say, okay, hold on, do I have any secondary? And while you're studying, go ahead and have your SAT in front of you. Even look like a geek at the bar, you know, who cares, you're studying. Um, and go ahead and say, hey, do I get, you know, vanilla, toast, nutmeg? Look at the choices there. My wine has all of that, all of that in there. Then you want to say, step back and think, okay, now I need to decide whether there's tertiary in this wine. So you go ahead and you think, step back and ask yourself, is this all about the fresh fruit or floral character? Or is there something else going on here? For my wine, there's a lot more going on here. So I've got tobacco, I've got leather, I've got earth, like dirt earth, um, not fresh earth, but you know, earth that's been around for a while. Um, so these beautiful components are coming in and those are all tertiary. When you have a wine that has all three types, you need to have one of your five available points. You need to give at least one descriptor that's a primary, one that's a secondary, and one that's a tertiary. The other two can be whatever, in whichever type you'd like. How, however, keep in mind, what I always teach my students is, don't just write five. Wonder if, you know, there's one of the aromas that the grader didn't find in the wine. Go ahead and write seven, eight, nine. Try to get those maximum five points, because this is the easy place to get points. 